Becky Jarris, it's peaking hundreds of shooting stars per hour, but there's a catch. The problem is it's daylight. <laughs> Just imagine it. I know, right? <laughs> Use your imagination. Yeah, uh, this is the meteor shower. It happens every year, you know, in this month, and, and it's usually kind of a dud. But this year, it's supposed to be spectacular, like 750 shooting stars uh, every hour. So that would be fantastic to be able to see it. But the peak is between 3 and 5 Eastern time. Uh, so daylight is kind of a problem, isn't it? And then over into the Eastern hemisphere, we've got a full moon. So you get the moonshine, and that kind of drowns th things out a bit. However, some very creative high school students have figured out a way to be able to see this. They've taken a weather balloon, they've launched it into the stratosphere about 100,000 feet up into the air, and they are from Earth to Sky. And joining me now is Ann Herbst and Amelia Koski Phillips. Ladies, thanks for joining me. Oh, we've got the whole group. Look at that. Everybody's there. <laughs> well, first of all, tell us how did the balloon went off, I assume. You launched today. Yes, we did. Uh, and how did that go? It went off about 20 minutes after we hoped, but since the meteor shower was peaking, um, and the peak was long, hopefully we'll get some pretty great shots, but otherwise it went off without a hitch. Wonderful. So there's going to be a camera way up there, and of course it will be dark there, so hopefully we'll be able to get some pictures. Where did you guys get the idea to do this project? Um, we got the idea when we, in the beginning of our freshman year, when we had originally wanted to launch a satellite, but we originally, but then we um, came to believe that we weren't quite ready and we moved into weather balloons and we just thought this was a perfect opportunity to get spectacular footage that no one else was really getting else in the world. So, you know, that's what inspired this um, launch. Okay, so this is kind of complicated for our high school students. Was this a difficult thing for you guys to do? Um, well, you know, all, all of this class, I mean, we've all been in it for quite a, a while now, and um, we're all just kind of dedicated nerds, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> we all love what we're doing. So I guess with the right amount of focus and perseverance, it's not as, uh, as complex as it seems. It's actually fairly simple, just takes a bit of brain power. We've got tons of it here. Okay, which one of you is Anne and which one of you is Amelia? I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> but uh, not, not to say that it doesn't take a lot of work. It took us six hours to assemble our payload for this launch and also just two hours just uh, blowing up the weather balloon and stuff. So not to say it doesn't take a lot of work to do this. Okay. As I was reading up on this, I saw a quote from a NASA scientist who said these might be the only pictures that scientists are going to be able to catch of this meteor shower, and they're not real sure where the exact concentrations are of these dust trails. What does that mean to you guys to know that your work here in high school could help scientists? Well, we're very happy that we can make a contribution to this because we see as, as teenagers, sometimes it can be hard to make a contribution to, you know, the big scientists. But it's really nice that we can, you know, just spend time and energy to see to make a contribution to, you know, the greater science world. All right, absolutely. And what's next? Will there be more projects? Oh, yeah. We're, we'll see. The weather balloons are, honestly, we're hoping to send up experiments because up in the stratosphere, it's a near-space environment, which will be close to the environment of the satellite that we originally hoped to send up. And so we're hoping to send up some bacterial experiments uh, in the future. This is sort of just a bonus project, really. All right, well, we'll have to get back in touch with you after you have the pictures, and maybe we'll take a look at them. Thanks so much, uh, Earth and Sky, the group from Bishop, California. Good luck. I hope it turns out. Can't wait to see the pictures. Kira? Jackie, that's so going to be your kids when they enter <laughs> high school. I can't wait. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. I hope so.